In this video, I'm going to show you how CodeMix makes everyday coding far more efficient. We're just going to amble through different editors and take you through a number of features from content assist to validation. So let's get started with a simple HTML file. I'm going to use um, this emit abbreviation uh, to insert a bunch of boilerplate code for me. I'm going to go ahead and do something a little more advanced. Say, and again, observe the preview uh, for the content assist, which shows me the code that's going to be inserted. I'm going to continue to use uh, content assist. Notice that it appears as I type. And uh, we even have content assist for CSS classes. So this is something it scans your workspace, figures out what classes you have defined, and would suggest them as, um, uh, as part of your HTML content assist. So let's move on now to, uh, let's say, some CSS. And uh, we support the latest uh, CSS3 uh, properties, of course. Uh, again, handy documentation, if you're not familiar with something new. And uh, even we, we even have uh, Emmet support, for instance. Let's say, uh, do something in that. And one of my favorite features is the hover, which uh, tells you what uh, elements a particular style would get applied to. This one, for instance, would apply to all divs. This one is divs with the enabled class. And this one is divs with the enabled attribute. Okay, so let's move on now to something a bit more advanced. I'm going to open the package JSON in one of my Angular projects. And um, as I type in the dependency section, I get npm modules as content assist suggestions. Even the version here is the latest version of this particular module. Really handy not having to look up NPM modules or their versions uh, manually. Uh, let's move on now to some TypeScript. This is an Angular component. Uh, this is a TypeScript class co corresponding to that component and we do have a couple of errors in it. The first is uh, I probably used the wrong module to import component and I'm going to use content assist to help me out. And observe that we do have validation as you type. So the moment I fix that error, the error marker actually went away. Second one, we haven't imported on in it. And in this case, I'm going to use a quick fix action to do the import for me. Finally, if I press control and hover over get repos here, you see that um, uh, I do get a preview of the implementation of this method. Uh, so really great being able to see that in this class without actually navigating to it. I'm going to click anyway to go to that service. Uh, this one has a couple of errors as well. Uh, so the repo I interface probably doesn't exist. Content assist to the rescue again. Complete that. Um, and I'm going to use quick fix in this case to see what's wrong here. So we've used the wrong quotation marks. I can either fix it, disable the rule, or I can look at the documentation to see uh, what um, what the requirements of this particular rule are. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, disable the rule for now. And uh, let's move on now to this the HTML file corresponding to this component. If I open that up, uh, notice that a particular binding is missing for this particular element. So I'm going to use a snippet, uh, let's say ng model to help me insert that binding. Content Assist again shows me fields that are in my TypeScript class and I use that auto completion to help me out. Uh, I can press Control and hover over name and actually see that name is of type string. Again, very handy not having to go back to the TypeScript class to, to figure this out. So as you can see, um, CodeMix makes Angular development uh, pretty handy and TypeScript development in general as well. So you'd have similar benefits for uh, Vue development or React, uh, for example. Time to move on now from uh, modern web development into something like Python. I'm going to open a Python file I have in my workspace. And first off, I'm going to show you the local symbol search. Press Control O or Command O if you're on the Mac to bring up a list of functions and classes that you have defined in your workspace. You can just click to uh, press Enter to basically navigate to some location or you can uh, type in a class name as well. 
the hover support we saw with TypeScript is available here as well. So press Control and hover over a function to see uh, the implementation. And you can always click to navigate to that location too. Um, we have a host of powerful commands. So I can select this text, press Control Shift P or Command Shift P to bring up the command palette. And I can do something like format selection, which will format this particular piece of code. I can also select some text um, and say Control Shift P again, say extract method, and we'll do a bit of refactoring, creating a new method for me. We also have content assist and validation, of course. So if I make a mistake here, hover over the error marker, it says uh, this member doesn't exist. And I can use the content assist to help me fix that. Uh, the command palette now is um, something that includes Eclipse commands as well. So I could always say show view terminal, for instance, to bring up the terminal view. And uh, then I can use another command like run in terminal to run the current file uh, in the terminal for me. So that's about all we have for this video. Uh, we're sure you're going to enjoy coding in CodeMix and find it a far more productive experience. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks.